Why is he T posing? What in the holy Jesus? Alrighty, y'all. So we, um, I came back. Of course, as you know, this is a whole new day. Oh, I've done a couple of side missions. And I've gotten a lot of XP. I became level 18. So we're three levels off from Mary now. Uh, I've done this mission already. So we already got this done. I'm in the process of doing this. I need to find out the last Braille note. We've done this one. And bended this one on camera. I might start doing the side missions on camera once I find some more but I'm in the process of doing this one which basically I'm gonna sum up what's happening um so basically Joe Peterson this guy his wife we found the box with letter in it I don't know why it was randomly where it was but not gonna talk about that anyway his wife is basically cheating on him with his best friend and she wrote a letter to Barrett to basically keep it a secret don't tell Joe and I now have the choice to basically either tell Joe give him the box give him the letter or give Barrett the letter give give Barrett the letter and keep it a secret so basically they're giving me the choice to either be a slime ball or be a good guy and be a snitch so I honestly do not know what to do, bro. I'm I'm really like torn. Like, if I show you right now, like how much potential XP between these guys I might lose. He has three thousand five hundred fifty XP. He's not even maxed out yet, but he's a lot of XP. Joe doesn't have a lot of XP, at least not right now. We could potentially get him killed. I don't know. I would hope Joe wouldn't kill him. I would hope he just probably, you know, beat him up a little bit. I would probably take down his butt quality. I don't know. But I really, really hope this is not... Like, this could affect the story heavy. Like, heavy. No matter what I choose, this could affect the story heavy. But with my good heart, I'm definitely feeling like I should give it to Joe. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be a snitch or anything, but... I'm just being, like, I'm thinking morality. I'm thinking with my morals. Like, I don't want to. It could ruin his relationship. If I don't tell him, it could ruin it anyway because he could possibly find out. So, either way, it's better to tell him. Come on, we can sort it out, right? It's not my call, Barrett. You pay one way or another. Please. <sighs> Please don't. Um, I'm praying, bro. I'm praying for... Barrett, I'm praying for you, bro. Please do not... What is that sound? Bro, who is cleaning something? What is you going... Again? What do you want this time? Is there any questions I can ask him before this happens? Uh, oh. Oh, we can ask him about the... Oh. There's some other stuff I want to ask him anyway, so I might as well ask him now. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. I mean, you could have refused, but... I'm gonna say you could have refused now. You Most refused. people don't become no. thugs when unemployed. This is a choice you made. I don't yeah. care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons. And that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Oh, man. This is gonna hurt, bro. That's another thing. That's his best friend. I, I didn't say that. I think I did. That's his best friend, bro. Like, this is gonna hurt, bro. Let's go back. All right, let's ask him another question before we... Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. 
Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. She's not even alive, bro. She's not even alive, bro. I mean, no, that's still not cool. Because you shouldn't have done it in the first place. That's still not cool to have your best friend just cheer on you like that. That's still not cool at all. But she's not even alive, bro. That's why she's not around. Oh, my God. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested. Oh, my God. Are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. I really am. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm hesitating so much. Cause so much can happen in one, within one, within one press of a button. So many things could happen, bro. One thing said, and everything could change, bro. Let's do this, man. I think the documents in this box could be of some interest. To you. Really? Oh my head. Where'd you get it? I found it in an abandoned building nearby. I thought you might want to keep these letters. Let me see. Ah, uh, letters about my boy. Thank you, sir. You do not appear surprised or pained by this. Surprised about what? Harry's my son, I'm his father, and that's all there is to know, don't you think? Yes, I suppose you're right. Here's a little something for your trouble, and to remind you to keep your mouth shut about all this. Is there any other questions we unlocked or anything? You're telling me you do not. Can I offer you my medical Alrighty. Keep your medicines for others. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it then. It's not like I don't appreciate the gesture. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. What? You're telling me he doesn't... He's gonna realize this later, isn't he? I feel like he's gonna realize this later. Because he... There's no way you missed the letter. He might have missed it. This is gonna change. Oh, I thought he was about to roll upon him. I was about to say, dang. Uh, who else needed fatigue medicine? Because I also need to hand out medicine as well. So... Uh, uh, yep, you... Harry... Derry... Oh, I can max out his... I'm not even gonna lie, I also wanna um take some people out for some XP. I'm not gonna lie. Cause the XP is looking delicious, bro. Like it's she's maxed out, but I can't get I'm not on her mesmerized level, so And I missed the hint on him, so that also ruins the blood quality. It's not gonna be maxed out by the time I get to it, but it's cool. <sighs> well, I mean Who's gonna wait? Who's gonna miss bury it? If I do, berries blah blah blah. Jump. Uh huh. So what does Harry have to do with? What is? So I'm not seeing any relation to bury it. I, I said bury it, Harry. All right, let's just go ahead and. Fancy buying something? Why did I just do this? Goodbye for now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm kind of confused as why. You know what? Leave it alone. Leave it alone. We're gonna go ahead and go heal people. I'll be right back once I've healed everybody. Wait, wait. No, there's something here. I hope I don't miss this. There's something here I really do want to talk to him about. Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. 
Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Oh, I'm using something like what? Is she still glitching on the back? No, she's not. All right, that was it. Do you Just need to give you that medicine? If you yep. Goodbye. All right. So who else need to be healed? I think it was Harry, Albert, um, and him as well. Okay. Go get him first, and then we'll give it to Albert. Pay me a bottle, and I'll be nasty. Oh no! Please get out my ear. Why is he T-posing? What in the holy Jesus? Why is he... Why is he T-posing? Alright, um... This is weird. There you go. Oh, you're dead. Dang. Oh, you're dead as well. You're dead. That's what happens when you have hard biting. I stop. Healed everybody. Now he will head to a hideout. Upgrade a little bit more because apparently I got a lot more XP. And yeah, we will most likely continue with the merry fight. I want to try a level 19 event, at least a level 19. That would be better. Is the hideout right here? No, oh, right? No. It's up there. Why can't I teleport? Okay, my this game must be bugging. Despicable. We're gonna go to the other hideout. I don't know what's going on. Uh, my game is bugging. Yeah, I can't teleport up here. I have this. Yeah, I'm eating rats with no need for blood. For I don't know what's blood. going on. Alrighty, Oof. so while we're here, after I make these upgrades, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that I upgrade. Well, I can show you guys the skill tree, and I'm going to show you some of my weapons that I upgraded as well. So, what can we upgrade? Um, <clears throat> We can upgrade our ammo even more, or we can carry more serums. I feel like upgrading our bullet capacity or a um, cartridge bag would help a lot plus one syringe we're not gonna be using I shouldn't have to use syringes that often so let's do this instead oh can I do both save less I can do both anywhere awesome all right so we're so close to level 19. I could go off and try and go get some more XP to get level 19, but I feel like we're in, we're in a good spot where we can go fight them now. And now he has a cold. Well, you're gonna have to wait to get healed because I gotta do my main mission. So 
Sorry. Let me show you guys what my weapons are looking like now. So I've gotten a lot of upgrades on the weapons, and I've switched out my skills as well. I'm starting to use the Shadow Mist because basically this is, oh, this is the most max damage you can get. The Blood Spear is nice and all, but it's not as good as the Shadow Mist, especially if you get an enemy just standing still. Yeah, we can use the Shadow Mist to our advantage. And I upgrade my Blood Barrier. It takes um, absorbs two hits now. Claw. I think I upgraded that. I think. No, I didn't. No more. Still the same. Upgraded our um, auto. F I don't know how to say that. Auto faggy. <laughs> auto. That's what it says. Look, that's what it says. Don't don't judge me. Upgraded our rage. I'm um, definitely upgraded this a lot. This is going to help a lot, and I've, if I showed the clips of me using this, this is amazing. This is the best stun weapon we have so far, so it does 28 stun, which is insane. Apparently, against every enemy. I haven't had to use this not once for stun, so this is pretty insane, and we have more slots for Sims. I should probably make some more Sims real quick before we leave, if I can. Uh, let me make another regeneration theorem. And what else can I make? Blood serum, stamina serum. Let's make another stamina serum, and we're gonna make another blood serum. I don't know. Um, can we? How do we equip those? Do we equip those, or are they just naturally equipped? I think they're naturally equipped. I don't see an option to equip those. I think they're just naturally equipped. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and skip to getting in the fight after I take these guys out. What in the world are you doing here? Alrighty, um, well, if I keep this part in, that'd be nice. Uh, so I wanted to say the fact that I upgraded my weapons as m much as I possibly can right now before we get into this fight. I just upgraded the hacksaw, which apparently does more damage than the hatchet. And it's fast. It has more attack speed, so this could be very useful. And I also upgraded my revolver a lot. 124 damage. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be a game changer. Hopefully, this is really nice and good enough for me to get into this fight and, you know, dominate Mary. And, yeah, hopefully this time we're at least able to compete where at least at least able to compete. Because last time, last time we, uh, we got close, we did get close, but... We did not succeed, so yeah. This time should be different. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, should be up here to the right. I did before there's some rats up here. I can't believe I'm doing this. There's some one more rat. Where you at? Find some of my blood, mix out everything, make sure my for blood. equipment is right, everything is right. Which serum is that? Wait, which serum is that? I don't even know which serum that is. I can't even check which serum that is. Let me see. I can't equip it. Um. I think that's a light stamina serum, and. I think that's a regeneration serum. I think. I don't. I don't know. Cause I can't switch it out. Me, Dude, shut up. Let's get back into this boss fight. Come on. Let's not be reckless, though. Don't be reckless. Come on. Don't be reckless. Back up. Back up. What have you done? That did a lot. That did a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Mary, I'm different. 
I'm different now, Mary. You've spared the precious nurse crane, but not your own Mary. Get off you. Jonathan, kill him. Revel in your true nature. That was a nice attack, nice attack. That was pretty good. You've killed me, brother. Ten seconds. Come to me, Jonathan. Two, one. I'll make you kneel like a dog, just as you did to Sean Hampton. Switch that up. You left me to rot in this grave. Rest in peace, monster. Oh, shoot, man. Come on. Here go to BS again. Back up. Oh, my stamina meter. My stamina meter. She's not even... I should have used the serum, bro. I, I I gotta use the serum, bro. I gotta use the serum because this this is no no. She you see how low she was and oh, she didn't even hit, bro. The, she just went through my body with her. It's, I'm I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down because we're gonna get this done. I I see it. I see it now. I see it. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this done. I forgot we had this ability. Um. I should try it out. She does use defenses a lot. Let's try this out for the one time. And we're just going to see just how good it is. This should be pretty good. And why does it send you this direction? I have no clue. Killed me, brother. <laughs> Resisted. 
It did all that damage, bro. It did all that damage. All my health is gone, bro. All my health I just gained is gone, bro. It did all that damage, bro. All right, bro. I got you, bro. You want cheese like that? I got you. I'm about to start going crazy with this gun. Shall I pull out the shotgun? I feel like I should. I feel like I should. Rest in peace, monster. No way, bro. Final thoughts are just to die for. No way, bro. She's not even low and she still uses it. Abomination. Kiss me again. What? Come on, man. She was just started it again. Oh, because that animation. Me, Jonathan. She resisted my bullet, bro. Resisted my bullet just because she was in an animation coming towards me. School, we got. We got backup on backup. What have you done? I didn't reload my weapon and now I'm about to get hit. Run. No. Look at the entire field being covered by this. Yeah. She resisted it. Come to me, him. Jonathan. I'll make you kneel like a dog just as you did to Sean Hampton. So keep resisting it. Just not gonna get the animation eventually. Kiss me again, sweet brother. There we go. I'm taking my time. Oh, no way. Rest in peace, monster. Back up, back up, back up. I can't move back up. What? Let's go! Let's go! 
Oh my god, let's go! Well, brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare. No dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. You're telling me that's all it takes? That's all it takes to kill a, a vampire, bro? That's all it takes? And this is me controlling it, by the way. You're telling me, well, it does... According to vampire logic, it does take just a stake to kill them as well. I guess that does make sense. Dang, bro. <sighs> that wasn't my choice, so you can't blame me for this. It's all part of the story. I'm so glad I purchased that ability. I'm so glad I made my choices of resetting my abilities. Because it all came in handy. Everything, everything came in handy. Just goes to show everything I did off camera was worth it. All the upgrades were worth it. But thing is, I gotta keep upgrading from here. I gotta, I gotta get even better. Even better from that. Though. So. Because enemies are not, that's not even... That's probably not even close to like the hardest. That's not even close to the hardest enemy in the game. I guarantee it. We gotta get better than that. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't use a single serum. <laughs> I could have. I ain't have to apparently. So, I mean, save me, save me some serums. Definitely used up my ammo though. Blood. As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Find the origin of the epidemic in the West End. Rising fever, the great hunt. Meet Lady Ashbury in the West End. Alright, um, I'm definitely going to end this episode here because I've been recording for over an hour. So, yeah, man, it wasn't mainly because of that. It was mainly because of all the side stuff I was doing and I had to go, like, find people. Apparently, I don't, I don't, I didn't realize how long I was recording. So, I'm going to end it here before it gets too long. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to friends. Make sure to turn on post because you don't post a video. And make sure to leave a comment. Comment, dear Mary, or Mary for short, whatever. 
And yeah, today's your birthday. Happy birthday. I love each and every one of you. And I'll, oh yeah, make sure to click on the video right by my head or click on the video to the side if you missed anything on the playlist. And yeah, see you in the next video. Until next time, of course, peace. Banger. And forgot to say one thing. I'll see you in the next episode. You'll find out. You'll find out.